Hey guys, Run With Craft Scissors here with another plan with me. So this one is in my Erin Condren. I do this one about a week in advance. So this one is March 19th through March 25th, which is Palm Sunday. And then the first day of spring, that's my heater. Um, the first day of spring is March 20th and it's also my wedding anniversary. Now this planner is not, my cat just like hit me. <laughs> Uh, she like came up and patted my thigh. I don't know what she was doing. So it's my wedding anniversary as well And it'll be the first week back to work after spring break and all that so uh, Lots of things going on, but this planner is for my Etsy shop, which by the way, thank you guys so much For shopping during my shop anniversary if you did um, I am overwhelmed I did not think that I would do 50 orders in a day plus some you guys are amazing. Uh, I was like, what? The most orders I've ever had in a day was like 37. And I think that was like one of those collab sales. I don't know if it was, what was that first one I did? I did Monthly Planner Madness twice. And then I did one other one. What was that one called? PPE? Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, so this kit is actually from Label with Love Co., who's not on Etsy anymore. She actually has her own website, and I don't PR for her anymore either. Um, I was getting overwhelmed with how many shops I was PRing for, so I cut it back a little bit, but I still had this kit saved back, so I wanted to use it. It's called Find Joy in the Ordinary, so I thought that was cute because, I mean, you have to find joy every day in your marriage, I think. you got to find something, you know, um, that you guys share together, so... This uh, washi is the Simply Gilded washi. It's like a dark navy blue. I got this from Susan. She hooked me up with this for Christmas. So thank you, Susan. I think this clip is actually sold out. This one is still in stock. I'm having trouble, you guys, um, in the sale. A lot of stuff ran out, and I'm sorry if you didn't get what you wanted, but I only have two hands. <laughs> it is just me putting these clips together. So there you go. So that's what the backs look like. So I'm not, I'm pretty sure this one is sold out and I can't restock it. Um, what I'm out of like part of that. So there you go. So let's get started. This was like the freebie. So her other kids have stuff from this and I just wanted to show it. So, all right, headers. There we are. So we'll start with that and then we do full boxes and then I do half boxes. Yeah, and then checklists. And we also have date covers, and she has two strips of washi, so that will be fun. Okay, this will be awesome. I haven't played with one of her kids in forever. Okay, so she has to do today, and then she has blank. So we'll probably use the blank for the little things at the bottom. Yeah, so I need the to do first. That'll be up first. There we go. And I know that the green in this week's um, colorful Erin Condren does not match my kit very well. There is some like teal, but that's definitely not teal. It's definitely like a mint green. Uh, and I was struggling actually with the washi, but I was like, well, there is two washies in this kit. And it is the Erin Condren planner, so I don't need a ton of washi like I do if I use this kit in the Happy Planner. Where I'm like trying to cover stuff up, cover space up. There's not that much of a struggle in this planner for that. As far as that goes but I feel like I just I had I don't think I've planned in her with her kits in a while I'm pretty sure she's still a shop I haven't like looked at it I'm pretty sure I still I follow her on Instagram and all of that she's uh, it's an Australian shop I believe so it does take a while to get to you if you order from her and I don't think I have a discount code anymore I don't think it's active anymore as far as that goes if you're looking but of course I'll feature other shops and you can see that but I was trying to like find the perfect kit for the week of my anniversary and I'm like uh that's not really there was like a girls road trip one and I was like honestly I don't have like I don't have a group of friends I would like road trip with well maybe if I had to do that that would probably be um, some of my planner besties like if we road trip to like a planner meetup or something, but I don't know that I would ever actually like do that. <laughs> I don't know. Have you guys done that? Have you like taken a road trip with friends before? Cause I've never done that. I've gone on like trips with my friends before. Like in high school, I remember, I think it was high school. Maybe it was middle school. One of my friend's moms, I, she was taking all of her daughters to Las Vegas. 
No, Reno. Oh, I don't remember. There was casinos. I don't remember which one it was. Maybe it was Reno. We got snowed in, so probably Reno. I don't feel like we would get snowed in in Vegas. I don't know. So we went, and that was a lot of fun. I don't really remember the trip there. I just remember being there, and, like, her mom bought me a um, virgin strawberry daiquiri, and it was, like, the first one I had ever had, and I was like, this is the best smoothie ever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And then um, she thought there would be more games for like us at the hotel that we were at and there really wasn't. There was like a really lame arcade room and it only had like three games in it. It was the worst. So we ended up being um, in the hotel room mostly and playing like truth or dare and watching TV and like <laughs> it was dumb. <laughs> like it was like a dare you to go get ice from the ice machine by yourself. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Anyhow, memories. And then another road trip was, oh yeah, this one is kind of funny. Um, we took a road trip to, we lived in like Northern California. So it wasn't that long of a trip. We went to Monterey for this big Christian thing. What's it called? Spirit West Coast. Have you ever heard of that? Probably not. I don't even know if they still do it. So <laughs> we were on this road trip and my dad and my brother went ahead of us, I think. Or they were on the road ahead of us. I'm not really sure. And my sister-in-law, who was actually my brother's girlfriend at the time, was with us. And we were in the car with my mom. And then my best friend, Crystal, and I were in the back seat. And I don't know. I don't know if Sandy will watch this. She's my sister-in-law. Um, but I just remember her talking a lot. And I think she was just nervous and, like, excited. But it was really funny because my friend Crystal was like, <laughs> does she really talk that much? And I was like, yeah. But I was like, Sandy's really funny. Like, she's fun to listen to talk, talk to. So it was just funny. But So, Sandy, if you're watching, we thoroughly enjoyed our trip with you. But it was just funny because I'm not sure if you realized. And I remember my mom making a huge deal out of, like, them being at the campsite. Because, like, there was a campsite. And then I think my parents were in a hotel room. And all the rest of us were at a campsite. And it was, like, a big deal, like... My mom was like, you make sure that she stays in the tent with you and all this stuff. And I was like, mom, it's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, she did. She stayed in the tent with us. <laughs> I barely remember that trip, actually. So, but I was trying to think of, like, road trips I'd done with friends. And I'm not even doing that plan with me. So that'll be fun when I get to that one. I've already told you everything. So this is my wedding, the wedding anniversary. So I might as well talk about that, right? I don't know why I'm talking about the other stuff. So, we've been married, we got married in 2010, so it'll be eight years. I think I showed you guys, though, because I think in my mini happy planner, plan with me, I showed you what he got me for the anniversary, the little, like, flower. So cute. So, anyhow, um, our colors were pink and green. I've talked about my wedding before, because I've been doing, I've been filming plan with me's for a long time now. So you probably like heard most of my stories, I feel like, about my wedding. But we had two cakes. That was funny. I barely got to eat. My photographer actually was the one that brought me my food. And so she was awesome. Uh, so here's the rest of the little things. We'll probably use some on the sidebar. When we get there, let's go ahead and do the date covers. I like the decent amount of deco here. That's really nice that she included that. Okay, so Monday is the 19th. I'm going to try not to forget my date dots this time and like actually use them all. Because <laughs> yesterday's plan with me was like rough. I messed up three times and it was funny because I think it was Elizabeth that said, well you definitely need a spring break and I was like, girl, yes. <laughs> when I was thinking, oh my gosh, when I read that, that was so funny. So yes, I need a spring break. That is for sure. But I'm, I think it was, I stayed up too late and I, I pray, I plan pretty late at night. So I think that's also why I'm a little bit more funny. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. Maybe I just think I am. But like right now it's 11 o'clock at night. So I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. We went to the grocery store. Even, like I got all those orders and stuff, but I was like, well, I can't really pack them up yet. Cause I was waiting on one more set of freebies. So I went ahead and started filling orders, but they're not like packed. So I think I got through the first 10 um, orders. They're like stuffed and the clips are ready to go. I just need to add in that one more um, die cut freebie. 
and then weigh them and label them. So that's where I'm at on those. Um, my husband and I met on MySpace. I have no problem telling you that. <laughs> I know that kind of dates me a little, and that's okay too. Uh, I don't suggest meeting people off the internet necessarily, but it was kind of before that was super scary. But now there's all these apps, I feel like. So people are still like kind of meeting each other on the internet, but they're meeting each other through apps. So, and um, if you guys remember, MySpace was kind of set up to like find people actually. So that was kind of interesting that it worked out the way. I still remember the first message he sent me and I was like, do I know you from somewhere? Cause I kind of was pretty new to um, where we live. Like I was pretty new to the area still. I'd only lived there for like two years. And so I didn't know if I'd like met him in some class or at some church or wherever. So I remember that being my first question and he was just like, no, I just thought you looked nice. and wanted to make a new friend and I was like all right and this was I think he was the second guy I dated off of MySpace the first two did not go well one was much older than me and that was just a dumb idea um so there's the deco and then some like little script functionals so we'll come back to those um I love that she says Ben Day because we say trash day um but she's Australian so that's kind of original in her kits in my opinion all right uh next up we have full boxes I don't know where I put that next up Okay, so the Find the Joy in the Ordinary, that's going to be our theme sticker, so I'm going to peel that off, flip my planner upside down, and I have my little ring charm that she sent me. Thank you. Anyway, so here's this. I like to flip it upside down so I can get it straight. I will say, I feel like the Erin Condren paper is super see-through. Like, you can see the little dots on the divider page for, like... April coming up, which can't believe that's almost here. I know. I feel like I just filmed my March monthly spreads. I feel like I just filmed those. And I'm like, oh, it's already time for April. What am I going to do? So there's that. Been thinking about that as far as planning goes. So go ahead and use these. And this sticker paper is very different. It's pretty thin, but it is matte. Oh, do I need to go up a little bit? Or am I good? Oh. Gosh. Sorry. Trying to get it in that corner. I'm lined up at the side. But then I feel like I'm overlapping. Yeah, I am. What happened there? But if I go from the top of this one, am I going to overlap on that one? Yeah, I am, but not as bad. Okay, we'll do it that way. I don't know. Maybe her headers are a little wider or her boxes are. I'm not sure. It mostly fits. I don't really care. As far as that goes. But I think this kit is really pretty. I loved all the floral in it. I thought it was kind of wintry at first, but then I was like, no, not necessarily. Like, it's blue and there's a wreath, but it's got, it doesn't have, like, holly berries on it. It has um, feathers on it, so it's kind of tribal. But it, it's like, find the joy in the ordinary things, like see the flowers and the leaves and stuff. And there's berries on this one, but maybe it's kind of wintry looking. For the first day of spring spread. Oh well. I just thought it was pretty. But there's just like twigs. There's no snowflakes. There's stars. I'm kind of trying to convince myself now that I chose the right one. <laughs> so I mentioned our colors. We had a horrible DJ, but I feel like everyone says that. Um, ours was horrendous because he um, played, what was that song? Something White Boy. Anyway, he played that song twice, no idea why. It wasn't even on our list. Like We had a whole list of songs that like we liked, so they could play songs similar to that or exactly our list. And they didn't really stick with it too much, and so that was kind of frustrating. Um, but oh well, it is what it is now, right? So the middle box, she actually has a ton of half boxes in this kit. I always felt like I had enough to do a, a mini spread, so that's kind of nice. I think I'm gonna inc I'm gonna do um, this one with this one. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with the wide, simply gilded at the bottom, 
and then put in that one that was from this kit. I need to find the start. I haven't ever used this one yet. This is my first time using this one. It's so pretty. But I was trying to find washi, like, the colors. I was like, mmm, because this is kind of a periwinkle blue. It's not just a light blue, and then that's definitely navy, so I knew I could probably find one for that. But then even my navies were a little off. Where is my, there it is. My Cricut scraper. That's what I used to cut my washi. And yes, I know what's hanging over there. I'll get it in a second. I always talk back to you guys. <laughs> even when I forget stuff or put down the wrong thing, I'm always talking back. Okay. And then we did go out to eat today. We went out to a little Mexican restaurant. We were going to go to my, our favorite restaurant, but they were super busy. Because it was Sunday. And with, oh my gosh, with like the spring forward thing. Okay, so my brother did the funniest post on Facebook. He um, posted, he was like, now I feel like people wouldn't be so mad. I'm paraphrasing. Wouldn't be so mad if um, spring forward happened at 4 o'clock on a Friday. <laughs> Because then it would be five and everyone could go home. In case you didn't like get the joke. Um, and some of you might live in a place where you don't have time change. And it may sound good or sound awful. I'm not sure. I'm trying to peel this up. That side did not want to come up. So let's see if this one does. It's turning a little bit. I don't know. Oh, I remember my trick for this. Where is my blade? There it is. So this is my exacto knife. I just covered it in washi tape because I'm a weirdo. And I feel like you're not surprised that I cover things in washi tape anymore after seeing my picture frame project and me talking about how I did that to the bathroom. I feel like you guys understand what I'm doing. Okay. So I just kind of slide this around next to it to cut it off without tearing the sticker. That one still didn't want to come off. Okay. We're good now. Just had a little bit of a rough cut on that side. Alright, so I think we need to go this way with it. I'm trying to remember how I peeled it off. And then the half boxes should fit perfectly in the middle once this is down. There. It's pretty. We'll see if it does. If it doesn't, I'll have to come up with something else. So that's washi chunks. So I'm just going to use these. There's solid ones, there's some pattern ones, and then there's some little stitched ones. Yep, it's perfect. So I'm gonna go solid pattern, solid pattern. I think is how I'm gonna do it. It came up a little high on that one, the to-do. Oh well, guess I should have laid down the boxes and then the headers, but I'm not gonna change it now. <laughs> Definitely not. She had playing with me too. I used to watch her channel all the time. Label with Love Co. I mean. What else about our wedding? Our centerpieces were pretty. Our flowers were Gerber daisies and they were pink Gerber daisies and pink roses. And my mother-in-law made the bridesmaid dresses and did the rehearsal dinner. We had sliders at their like church. She like cooked it at their the kitchen at the church. At their church we didn't get married in a church we actually got married in a bar room um, I didn't want to change locations because having to tell people where to go that are from out of town and like we already won the site and I got to I asked them how long I get it for and they said all day so I was like well let's use it all day then so that's how that happened so I still have some extras on that sheet um, and then we need to do the full box checklist so we'll use these and I'll probably color block the with the headers a little bit there. At least I'll try. There. It looks straight. So we need to go brown. Mm hmm What else about our wedding? My favorite part was probably, as far as the food goes, the salad. I didn't get any of the appetizers. They served the appetizers while we were doing photos. And then... I think the one photo I didn't get was a photo of me and my brother. I think that was like the one picture I was like, oh. And we gave a list to the photographer too of all the pictures we wanted to make sure we got with like which family members. And then I didn't even think about this, but we should have done 
like an uh, entire family, like every family member that had like shown up to the wedding. We should have done an entire family photo of that. Um, that would have been so cool. But we did go around um, to each table and take pictures with all of our guests. So that was fun. So, I mean, technically we got pictures with everyone. But I think a big giant family photo would have been really fun. I mean, not every family member was there, obviously. Because that hardly ever happens at weddings, I feel like. Everybody's got something going on or it's too far away or, you know, health problems, what, what have you. I think it can get pretty complicated. I remember because my, my brother's wedding, like, hardly any of our family came because it was in a... We lived in a different state when I was growing up than our well, the majority of our family. So that's why um, his wedding had mostly, like, friends from our church. Um, but mine didn't. So... Like, we had a few friends of my parents from, like, the church that they started going to here. And then I think only one other set of friends from an, from back in California came. So, and that was okay. Like, it was, there was definitely enough people. That's for sure. Oh, this one's doing it too. I was trying to peel up this. And it's not letting me. I'm going to slide it under. There, that worked. Okay, and then just like when you peel it, if you feel it catch, don't just keep tearing. Just slide this underneath it and you'll be fine. But I always have people ask me where I got my X-Acto knife because it looks so different. And I'm like, I just put washi tape on it. <laughs> it's actually not different. <laughs> okay, so I think that washi is super wide. Yeah. I don't have to bump it up or leave space or anything like that. Just lay it down. so pretty. Well, I hope that's the way it was supposed to go. Oh, Yeah, I think so. But then I started thinking maybe it was like this and it was like drooped down. This is drooped down. But if I'm going based off the direction of the headers, then that's the way it goes. No, that's not the way it goes. The words are upside down. Are you going to let me have this back or no? Yes, you are. Amazing. Look at that. <laughs> I just saw it. I don't know. Once I laid it down, it kind of looked wrong. Alright, one mess up so far in this video. It happens. Like, when you're planning, especially if you're planning and talking at the same time, oh goodness, yes, mistakes happen. That's for sure. There's been times where I forgot to hit start. Like, when I started filming. <laughs> it's like, whoops, well, you didn't get that part of the plan with me, did ya? So, you just gotta roll with the punches, I guess, as they say. This is sticking to me. Alright, is that straight? No. Is that straight? She also, um, labeled with Love Co. Her name's Jenna, I believe. Jenna? I think that's right. She's really funny because she has, um, her husband sometimes does her voiceovers on her plane with me's, and that's hilarious. <laughs> I always love those ones. Okay, so now we're ready for the sidebar. So for this week, I'm going to put down... I usually like a this week sticker, but I don't see that. I guess there's work, because that's like what I'm going to work on. So I guess this one. I didn't really plan that. It doesn't really matter. Okay, then I need a checklist. Which I know I had some extra over here. I'll just use this one. So this is for like the clips that I'm working on, which I feel like this week and next week might just be restocking instead of new releases. Oh, I take that back. I think I have one that I was like kind of working on, but I didn't get it done by the sale, so it just didn't make it in. Um, washi tape. I think I'm gonna grab from the kit. And use a chunk of this one. Is that pretty floral? So I'll use that. And then I need my half box for goals. So is there a goal sticker? Yeah. Awesome. Sometimes I use important. It just depends on what the kit has. I just make the kit work for me. So I think I'm going to use the pattern box so I can just leave the stitched ones. Because I feel like those could work in any spread based on like matching colors, not any thread, but just any theme, I guess I should say. 
It just needs to have the right colors. So we're going to use another one of the washi strips, I think. Yeah. And then my habit tracker. There's my heater again. Where's the habit tracker? There it is. There's four different ones. I think I'm going to grab the brown one just because that header is brown. So I'm trying to bring in more of the brown colors. I don't know. And then that's pretty much it. So I'm going to fill it out with some washi tape. This kit washi so it'll look like just another decorative box down here. And she doesn't have the cut lines in between so it should match up perfectly once I lay these down next to each other. So it'll just look like a whole box which is what I did last week too. There. So that's done. Awesome. And then as far as functionals go, there's some quarter boxes on this one and this one. And she has these functionals. So I know I want to put down my plane with me, so I need to go. Here's the planner. So I'll put this down on Sunday because I plan on this plan on Sunday nights. And then it's like a piece of plastic. Oh, I think it's from when I opened the washi tape. Um, payday, I'm not sure when because it's Etsy. Ben Day. I need to make sure I take out my office trash Wednesday, so that's kind of a to-do. And then, um, the rest of the stuff doesn't really go with this one. I usually like to put the coffee one on Mondays, so I'll put that there. And then, I think I'll probably have new releases this week, just not... I won't have new releases on the 15th probably. I'll probably skip that one because I'll be filling orders all through these days so I won't have time to make new releases. So then I'll probably work on restocking and then making new releases for this week is what will end up happening. So let's go ahead and use a quarter box. I'll use one that matches the header. And then I need a little like computer sticker. Oh yeah, there's my character sticker. And then here's my shop sticker. So we'll use this one for me posting the new releases. And then what I'm working on. This is from Cupcakes and Stickies. And then my character sticker is from Britannia Nicole. This one's actually called the Runs with Penguins. So there's that. Is there a weekend banner? Yeah. I totally missed it. It's right there. I was like, there should be one. <laughs> I was thinking I'd put it down here. Perfect. So that character sticker is done. And then I was trying to think if there was anything else I would use. Oh, I need cameras. That's for sure. And then she kind of already had a coffee Monday, but there's not a Friday sticker. So a little Friday sticker right there from Britannia. And then I have some Pomegranate Sticker Co. pictures. So I do my spread picks. I'm not sure why that's there. It probably fell off. That's from Cupcakes and Stickies. This is from Pomegranate. So Monday I do my before the pen pick. Then Wednesday I do my midweek spread pick. And then Sunday I do my end of the week pick. So that's what I use those for. And then Happy Mail, no idea. I already did the camera. I already did the new release sticker. I think that's it for functionals for ahead of time. I think that's all. So I'm going to write in new releases because I should have some then. And then this one I just write down views, views, visits, and orders. Views, visits, and orders. And I do that for every day. And then this is my Instagram tracker. And then goals, I just put down sales, orders, and then revenue. And then those are the clips I'm going to be working on. This is going to be for Instagram. 
Um, so I think I have some. Yeah. So this is what I post on Instagram for my shop. So I'm gonna use these from Plain Love SP to label the boxes. I think that will be cute. Give me that. And then giving me the sticker. I have a struggle with that tonight, haven't I? Just a little bit. Doesn't want to give it to me. There we go. So I'm gonna put those across there to kind of label my headers. Well, that was my computer, sorry. You heard that. Oh, well, like, chime. It said razor update, I don't even know. I think that's my mouse. <laughs> my husband, the technological one, in case you didn't know. We're a pretty good pair. Now, our um, actual song, like for us, actually, we didn't have, um, you never know what your song is going to be. I think I've talked about this before. Our song is Africa, but that's because we went into a Mexican restaurant one time and they had a DJ. I'm not even sure why they had one. Um, the Mexican restaurant is no longer in business, by the way, but this DJ goes, this one is for the couple that just walked in and then played Africa. So yeah, so now every time we have we see like a meme about that song or like we hear that song, we like message each other or show it to each other. Yeah, we're pretty funny that way. Okay, so I don't have, I think, I was thinking about doing the bow washi up top, the skinny one. Yeah, we'd have to move the penguin, but I think I will do that. Let's move the penguin. Hey, little guy, we're gonna move you for a second. He's up for it. He said road trip because we were just talking about that <laughs> okay so this is gonna go up here not that I need it I just think it's fun plus I'm a no white space planner so this is not for everybody I will say that but this kit definitely has enough that if you were a white space planner this would last you a while and I remember when I was a white space planner I used to make kits like last at least two spread two full like weeks in a regular planner I definitely did that is true, but I haven't done that in a while. That's like when I did the plum paper planner, so if you're looking for those planner things, that's where those are. Really? Did I do that? This is wrong. This is, ah, why? Why do I do the things I do? Do you guys know? Because I don't know. But these stickers seem to be very forgiving, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it up. Did you guys notice? <laughs> but it's because of the way that it peeled off of the sheet, I just didn't notice it being the wrong direction. Gosh. How many times is that now? Is that three? Am I at three? <laughs> How many times can I mess up in one plan with me? But uh, it's the direction, it was the direction of the habit trackers made me think that this was the direction this was supposed to go, but it's not. Because if you're looking at the words, you can tell when words are upside down, even though you can't really see what those are saying. So now I'm gonna bring this down. There. I'm really glad that this kit has like basically removable stickers or they just work really well with Aaron Condren because this would have been a really big mess if I had done that. Oh my gosh. My washi going two different directions. Okay. We're going to go ahead and just do our deco. So that's what's up next. Or what I'm already doing, I guess. I'm going to put deco in these boxes because I really don't put much in them other than my stats. So that will be fun. Um... I haven't used any of the feathers. I can use some feathers here and there. Those will be fun. I can put them here. A little leaf. Do I have a little flower? There we go. Put that down there. And her deco is like so many different sizes that it's like you can make it work. Or if you're not a deco person, then it's like it's not overpowering, I feel like, for you. You can just use as much as you want because it's your planner. That's what I like to say. But I'm definitely a no white space girl, so. I have been doing no white space, gosh, for how long? It's been a long time. I've been doing this. And actually, my anniversary on YouTube, I think my first video was like July 25th or something like that. So I think. That's when that happened. I actually had a broken hand. That's one of the reasons I started filming. So my husband and I met at on MySpace 
first time we actually met face to face was at a coffee house which is no longer in business actually a lot of places where our like first stuff happened where we got our first song is gone where he proposed is gone um, <laughs> um, the where we got married is still there that's for sure okay I think that's it oh no there's some deco on here too because I said I was gonna use it yeah I am okay so all of those have some I threw one up there we'll do this one up here and I think the rest of this doesn't go with this kit. I think just that one did. Yeah, so we'll leave that alone. And I think that's pretty much how that is, that, that is going to look for the spread. So I hope you guys like this plan with me. I went ahead and picked this one because it has floral and the light blue. So if it doesn't match, it doesn't match, but that's what I went with. Because I was like, I actually don't have a lot of blue clips. So maybe this week will inspire me making blue clips. I don't know. So there's my spread. Thanks for watching. Give it a like and please subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. And maybe I'll have more rest by then and not put my washi upside down. Bye!